right. Uh, how we doing? How we doing, guys? Yes, I know it's been a while. It's been well, it's been almost a week since I've done a uh, a Rise Forty Five vlog. Has in fact, I think the last one I did was the last Free Info Friday. Actually, it was the first Free Info Friday. So we're actually gonna do a little bit of that on this one. So it's gonna be a little bit of everything. We're just gonna smash a bunch of different things together and just just have a little chat, have a good time. So I hope everybody's been doing well because. Uh, I think I have, yeah. Actually, let's uh, let's let's start off with that. Let's start off with kind of you know we're here at the end of Rise Forty Five Week Three, so it's been it's been a week. Um, let's see the good, the good. I hit all my jujitsu sessions, so I think I went to class five times this week. So I was in class every day, which was awesome. Um, so I'm actually, I think I'm caught up. Yeah, I think I'm evened out. If I if I basically. I'm back to where I could miss one session a week for the rest of the challenge and I would hit my goal, but I'm going to try to not do that. I'm going to try and, um, <clears throat> I'm going to try and stay on, on it, hit the, you know, you know, stay, stay five days a week. Cause uh, actually a couple of us have decided on maybe a tournament. Uh, I think the first week of April, um, I'll have more details on that as we kind of get closer to it. But yeah, I'm excited about that. Uh, that's, that's really cool. I think, uh, the, the couple the couple guys uh, from the team that I've talked to about are really, really cool guys, really great guys. So I think they'll be be fun to travel with, be fun to train with, come up, uh, be fun to fun to come up to to tournament level with. So yeah, looking forward to that. Um, that in mind, so I did start kind of messing with my calories a little bit because you know weeks one and two I felt like I had I had at the end of week two kind of gotten comfortable with sort of the volume and the training and the. I'll, I'll say the, the nutrition plan that I was on at the time. And so I figured, okay, well now it's time to start maybe adjusting down a little bit because I do need to, I need to start thinking about going into, I guess, cutting mode because I don't, I mean, not, not, a, not a crash cut or anything, but I definitely do want to be back down to that, you know, 190 range by, by March, April, because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to roll super heavy or anything like that. So that I think is the one spot I took a hit. It, it's really weird. I, I find I found it was actually harder for me to come up to a level I needed to be at. So there were a couple of days that I um, that I had to really scale back the workout because I just wasn't eating enough. Um, you know, you think you think two thousand calories is really easy to hit, and I guess depending on what you're eating, it might be. But I noticed, you know, when you're eating really lean meat and you know protein powder and things like eggs and egg whites and not a lot of fat, uh, it's it's not as easy as you think, and uh, that's actually something we'll talk about in the, the quote-unquote free info Friday section. A couple couple questions about diet and nutrition, and kind of what what some, what certain things look like. So, we'll we'll definitely dive into that a little bit. Um, but uh, I think you know when I started, I actually made a, made an effort the last couple of days because because a lot of times I just kind of eat when I'm hungry. But like I said, that just that just is resulted in me not eating enough. And I could tell because, you know, the days that I had really bad sleep, usually it was because I was just, you, you know, I mean, have you ever been that hungry? Like that you just can't sleep well. I mean, you know, you feel like you're just, you know, you're not, you don't, you don't have enough food to recover. You're probably just flooded with cortisol and, and your body's like, nope, nope, there's, there's, there's going to be no, no going into parasympathetic for you. So, uh, I definitely, definitely had that a couple of days, but yeah, I noticed like when I actually like made sure that I, I ate up to where I was supposed to be, you know, around 2000 calories or so that I, I would do all right. So that's kind of where I'm going to, that, that's kind of where my target is for now. Um, but you know, I'm going to, I'm going to start watching the scale next week, uh, for the next, I guess, for, well, till at least till, till mid March and see, see, um, just see what happens and kind of play with that number. 2000 is a really conservative number, but at the same time, at least f I think for now, because I've got some, uh, let's say non-functional mass I can get rid of again. Uh, I, th I think I'll be doing all right. So uh, as far as the workouts go, the workouts been been really fun. Uh, you know, I've had a lot of fun kind of trying to fit everything into the equipment that I have, you know, coming up with uh, new mace movements. Well, not new mace movements, but, you know, just new ideas on movements loaded with things like maces and clubs and bands. And, um, you know, I've been, I've been, been trying to post those all up on, uh, on, on my, uh, on, on my IG. And then, and I started, I started playing with reels this week, actually, I, well, just yesterday, you know, I started kind of isolating movements and putting them on reels. And I think maybe, uh, going forward, I might use just reels as sort of like a movement and exercise library, kind of a for posterity thing. So, and who knows, maybe that'll get me a little more engagement. I, I doubt it because we all know organic growth and engagement on Instagram is dead, but, uh, you know, whatever it's, it's more content. And it's something, and, and hey, at the very least, now I have longer clips of, of exercises I can always put somewhere else too. So that's not a bad thing at all. So I'm happy about that. Um, 
I think that's the weekend training in a nutshell. So, yeah, sorry, I, I didn't really think about this this one too much. I just kind of like I just kinda, I just kind of fired from the hip and said, "Hey, I really want I need to do another vlog because it's been a while." And and uh, you know, it's it's funny. I I really miss doing these. I, uh, you know, these are really fun to do, and that's um. That, that to me is a good sign. I think, I think if there's a thing you do and then you walk away from it for whatever reason, but it's always kind of in the back of your head that like, oh, no, no, I'm going to do it again because I really like doing it. Kind of like me in jujitsu, right? I, you know, I, I said, even though I've taken time off of jujitsu a whole bunch, I've never actually said, ah, screw it. I'm just going to quit jujitsu. It's always been in the back of my head that like, well, I'm going to go back one of these days and one of these days I'll take it seriously. And now I finally am. And that actually kind of like um, dovetails into something that, that we'll talk about for the free info Friday section, which... Uh, Heck, let's just dive into that right now because I think I, I, yeah, I don't have much more to say about the weekend review. Um, and so, so to kind of spin off of that, you know, I, I had gotten a question that was uh, basically, you know, what what's something that you know you should do more, but you dislike doing it so much that you don't do it as as much as you should. And my answer at the time was uh, static stretching, which um, it's, it's not that I hate static stretching. It's just it, you know, as much as I love training, it's some you get to the point where it's just like, oh my god, it's one more thing I have to do and. And they're like, like when I do a full day of training, I mean, because of, especially now because of my schedule, it's like, you know, I'll start with jujitsu and then I'll go to the gym or work out. And that could, that, that can turn into good Lord, like a four and a half hour block. You know, that's a big chunk of your day. That's just around, it's just tied around training. And, you know, if you're not a professional athlete, that's, you know, if you're somebody like me who just does it, that's, that's a lot of time. Right. And, um, and I don't know, I mean, this is going to sound really kind of weak, but just, there's just something about just being home that just makes me kind of go, oh, okay, yeah, I just, I just did my workout, oh, now I have to sit down and stretch. But um, I, think, I think there's a couple things, and, and, and some of you guys, you know, I posed that question back to, the, back, to the, back, back to you guys, and some of you had really, really good, good things. You know, I'm not going to say anybody's answer, but, um, you know, they, and they all made sense. And I think... Um, you know, the best advice I have, uh, and, and I'll, I'll tell you a story about how this worked for me, because actually this week I, I, I was a lot better about stretching. But, um, you know, it's, it's that thing that people are, have started to say a lot now, that whole, you know, that whole find your why. Um, but I think, I think if you can take that, and this kind of, this kind of is really, this, this thinking is really inspired by what we're doing at the Choice Point, for example. I think if you can connect that to a real world thing, I mean, I know, like, there's, there's all this talk about, you know, how, you know, intrinsic motivation, and if you're a good, noble, virtuous, I, I don't know what kind of person, you know, intrinsic motivation is a thing, but I'll, I'll level with you guys, I suck with intrinsic motivation, I mean, I need to have, like, an external goal, I need to have something on the outside, I need to have something kind of in the world that's not just deep down, I know I'm a good person, and I feel good doing it, it's like, and that's why I'm going to do a thing, it's like, eh, no, so, you know, for, um, for the whole stretching thing, the reason I started, I, I finally was able to get good about stretching is this week in class, this past week in class was rubber guard week. And if you, if you don't know anything about rubber guard, so rubber guard is a position that we play in 10, that started in, in 10th planet jujitsu. And now a lot of folks play it, but it's very much a hip mobility dominant position. You know, if you don't have, I mean, basically if you can't do butterflies or, and you know, lotuses, at least a half lotus, you're going to have a heck of a time playing rubber guard or at least playing, you know, advanced rubber guard and really getting really creative with it. And the thing is, I'm right at that point where I have enough hip mobility to kind of do the basic paths, but enough to realize that like, wow, I really like playing rubber guard and it could be really useful. And so having that, that thing, you know, where, cause it, you know, it's, it's easy to kind of get away from when we're not drilling it, but when we spend a whole week just drilling rubber guard and rubber guard attacks and rubber guard entries and rubber guard variants, and my hips are like, oh my God, what are you doing to me? It, it, it kind of gives you that motivation. So that's, um, that, that's really, I think what it boils down to is, is, you know, and that's kind of why I, th I think I, I might've alluded to this a bit on the last, uh, on, on, uh, on the last video, but I mean, I think that's really why you know, when it comes down to say exercising, for example, I always say, if you're going to exercise, if you, if you want to work out, you really find at the, at the very least start by finding something fun, you know, because that's going to be, you know, and maybe the, the, the fun component is it's a social thing. You know, you, you, you like the people you're hanging out with, you like the place you're, you're, you're training, you like the thing you're doing because that's going to keep you compliant, you know? And I'm not, honestly, I'm not the kind of person who, I, I don't know, it's really weird. Like, it's almost like there's these these weird taboos in the fitness industry about why people should and shouldn't train. And me personally, like if you're a dude and you want a six pack because you want to go out and get laid more, bang on. That's that's a great reason. Personally, I I don't down. So 
you know, f- you know, f- find your reason and don't be, you know, own it. Don't don't be be unabashedly about your reason. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I, I, I which, and honestly, I don't know why I want to play rubber guard so bad. Other than I just I just like it. It looks cool, and there's cool things you can do from it. So I I, I guess maybe I'm not following my own advice there, but I don't know. That's that. So um, but yeah, but but that's. That's a very, I guess, kind of disjointed way of saying what I'm trying to say. But yeah, ultimately, um, you know, the way you're going to get to doing those things that you don't like doing, at least for me, is like I said, find find that external motivator, find that find that goal, you know, find that goal that that thing you're doing is part of the process of, and the the act of not doing it is going to just hinder you getting to that goal. And I mean, another another thing you can do is. Um, it's just, just remove all the friction, you know? I mean, I know, especially nowadays in this weird, this weird kind of world we're in, um, it, you know, and, and I do this too. I say do difficult things, but there, there, there has to be some balance, right? If you're like, if, if the thing you're trying to do is difficult and then getting set up, you know, the setup, the lead up to the thing is difficult too, that, that's a little too much. I'm, I, I, you know, get, get rid of all of that, uh, of that initial kind of difficulty, you know, get, get rid of, you know, for example, for me, I mean, you know, there, like I said, there, there's a real chance our, our jujitsu school might have to move because, you know, we're, we're not going to be able to keep paying our rent where we are right now. And if, if we move somewhere that's not convenient for me, it's like, okay, well, I'm going to move closer to, to my jujitsu school. You know, it's, it's that simple. Um, yeah, that, that's kind of a big, kind of a higher level example. And, and I know a lot of people are like, well, we can't, I can't just move. But, well, you know, think about, think about all the things that are in your way of doing the thing you're doing. You know, think about all the things that are frictional to what you're trying to do and just try and get rid of them if you can. I mean, I think, I think that's the thing. I think a lot of times, you know, going back to what, what Andy Stump says, I mean, you, you know, start by making your world small. You know, don't think about like all the shit that like you have to do to get the thing done. It's like, okay, you know, what's, what, what, what's, what's the one step? What's the first step you can take? And one of those steps could be a bit of something, a roadblock you could remove, you know, some friction you could kind of polish down, whatever, whatever. So yeah. So I think if I was going to wrap that up, I would say, um, find some sort of external motivator and remove friction. And that's, that's how you, you know, and, and over time, I, I'm, I'm not going to promise it like you're going to like doing the thing more, but I think if it becomes just a thing you do and you're starting, and, and especially when you start seeing the benefits of like doing that thing, right? So for me, you know, um, you know, my, my rubber guard, even just a week of like, of, you know, of going through the drills and then stretching at home. I mean, by Friday, I was like, wow, you know, I, my rubber guard Friday is way better than it was Monday. And so, you know, if, if you can, you know, when you start getting that feedback, I think that's a good kind of motivator. So, and, and, you know, it may take longer than a week, you know, depending on where you're starting from and where you're going, but that in and of itself is a good mindfulness practice, right? Because it means you have to kind of pay attention to your progress and you have to kind of, you kind of have to be honest with yourself. And that's something we're really bad about. You know, we're great at like, I don't know, tearing ourselves down. You know, it's, it's that whole like, kill your ego, ego is the enemy. I, I hate that. I hate that no, notion actually. Uh, uh, and thanks, I, I actually one of the one of the, the guys at FNX kind of commented on one of my posts about that. And I, I say ego, ego is a motivator. You know, ego is a self of, a sense of self-awareness. I mean, you know, your ego is what lets you know that you're actually good at something. I mean, obviously you don't want to like take that too far, but I mean, you need to kind of let your ego have a little rain and, and, and accept it. Like, Oh, okay. I actually did get better at this. I actually did make progress. I actually don't suck as much as I used to at this, you know? So yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to say about that. Uh, let's see. What was the, Oh, diet there. So I had some, some, some questions about dieting, uh, some discussions about, um, how, how I'm doing on kind of just, you know, how, how do I feel doing using carnivore quote unquote as a performance diet. And, um, I'll, I'll admit, I, I, I've, I've really, I, I've, I've only spent a couple days where I was like pure strict carnivore. Um, I, I, when I started off, when I started, you know, rise 45, I had kind of said, okay, I'm going to do the animal base 30 challenge too, which actually quote unquote ends at the end of this, this coming week, but I'm probably going to stay on that. But, uh, if, if you've been following, uh, Paul Saladino, well, okay, sorry, if you haven't been following Paul Saladino, you know, Dr. Paul Saladino, the guy who, one of the guys who's a big proponent of the whole like carnivore diet back at the beginning, um, he started talking more about this idea that it, you know, animal foods, animal based foods, and then the more, or sorry, the less toxic plant foods. So things like, so things like fruits, for example. So I've been eating, um, 
a lot more, well, not a lot more fruit, but enough fruit, I guess, just a little bit. And it's, it's really nice. Honestly, like, you know, and it's really simple. I eat things like, you know, blackberries, blueberries, figs, dates. I mean, and these, there's a whole list of these things that, um, that he's got posted. Uh, he's carnivore MD on Instagram. And he's, if you want to f- actually see the whole list of foods and there actually are some vegetable ish foods you can, I don't eat them right now, but you know, things like avocados, which I know and these, these things are all fruits, but I mean, I, but you know, we, we tend to think of them like as vegetables, like when we eat them, you know, they're not quote unquote sweet fruits. Right. So, um, kind of like that whole tomato thing that like you used to impress your friends with when you were a kid. Oh, a tomato is actually a fruit, not a vegetable here. I'm smart. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, and I, I've noticed like the whole the, the eating 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 the fruit has been good. I think. I mean, I think probably just having. I mean, I don't know. There's there's a lot. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not gonna go down the fiber rabbit hole because I know that's there's all kinds of discussions about that right now. But um, for me, I I I don't have a huge sweet tooth, but I like. Um, I like having that little that that little thing to break up uh, break up the palate fatigue because as much as I like eating meat and eggs and salt at some point uh you, you kind of want something else right so so it's been really good and honestly i feel like my energy levels have been really good too um that coupled with some of the supplements i'm on i'm actually going to do a review of this recharge plus this pre-workout i've been on um I, you know I, I like to try and i like to use a supplement for like a month before i say for sure but uh, this last week especially though i mean i had some really really good rolls um i didn't didn't I didn't submit a whole lot of people, but I mean, it felt really, really good. Like I was actually making progress. So, and I think a lot of that is just due to, you know, the, the, the way the, the Perry workout nutrition is working. And then, and you know, I'm going to, you know, and I'll definitely like attribute a little bit of it. Yeah. To having some carbs in my system when I'm, you know, when I go into train or after training just to help with recovery. So yeah. Um, so that's that. And what else? Sorry, I, I was really bad about taking notes for this week. I <clears throat> actually didn't. Like I said, this one, this one, I, I was, I mean, I wasn't on the fence about doing this, but um, yeah, I, I had a bunch of other stuff to do. So I think that's all I have for this week, to be honest. So yeah, week three was, week three from a training standpoint was, was pretty good. Nutrition was meh. But, uh, you know, I think, I think just getting, you know, watching the scale, I don't know about you, but psychologically for me, watching the scale is actually really good for me because if I'm losing weight and if I'm counting my calories and they're a little low, but I don't feel like garbage, then I don't know, that kind of puts my mind at ease. So, um, and then yeah, the other is some free and then we did, we did kind of the free info Friday and, uh, yeah, you guys keep sending me questions for that. Uh, thanks everybody who sent me questions. I, I'll, I'll try, I'll try and be better about posting reminders, um, on the stories and stuff, but, uh, yeah, let's see anything else. Yes. One more thing. I have a, I have a new brand partner coming on board, so I'm going to have some more, more, uh, hopefully some more savings to pass on to you guys. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make an announcement until I, until the papers are signed, but, uh, yeah, that should be fun too. So let's see. I think that's what I got. Yeah, we're coming up on 20 minutes here. So I'm going to, I'm going to call it and I'm going to try and do these, uh, you know, get back to doing these regularly. Um, you know, I, I had kind of said, I was, I was kind of messing with myself. You know, I wanted to get the outro for the videos done, which I haven't done yet. And I said, okay, well, I can't do another one until I get the outro done. But that kind of backfired because you guys know how it is. There's always another project or another thing you can do to keep you from doing the thing. So I just said, all right, screw it. I'll, I'm going to just keep making these and I'll get the outro done when I get it done. And yeah, that's that. Um, anyway, that's what I got. Cheers.